Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching another restaurant remake. Today we're doing the classic Outback Steakhouse Bloomin' Onions. So let's get cooking. All right, so these are the ingredients to make our Bloomin' Onion dipping sauce. So I have half a cup of mayonnaise and I'm gonna put one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder. So I have one sixteenth teaspoon of the cayenne pepper and then I have one fourth teaspoon of the paprika. So we're gonna add that in. Okay, one eighth teaspoon of the oregano. We have one fourth teaspoon of the salt. Two tablespoon of the ketchup here. And then two tablespoon of the horseradish. All right, so we're just gonna give this a stir. All right, wanna mix everything completely. All right, so then we're also gonna add some black pepper. So just a little bit. All right, combine everything until everything is completely mixed together. Okay, and this is our dipping sauce for our blooming onions. We're now gonna put this to the side. We're now gonna put this to the side. All right, I'm gonna prepare my uh, batter for the blooming onion. Here are the ingredients. We're gonna mix in all the dry ingredients first. I'm gonna give this batter a, the dry ingredients a stir here. And then we're gonna use six ounce of beer here. So you can use any brand of beer. There's no particular beer that you need, okay? And we're gonna add this into our flour mixture. All right, so we're now gonna give this a whisk. so then everything can be combined. All right, if the batter is too thick, you wanna add a little bit more of the beer. I just wanna add a little bit more. I just want it a little bit more runny. All right, so this consistency is what I wanted. All right, very good. All right, we're gonna put this to the side first because we need to have our dry uh, seasoned flour to coat it after we dip into this. All right, so with the dry seasoning of our flour, we wanted, <clears throat> in this case, we want two cup of, uh, we want one cup of flours here. I have two teaspoon of the paprika. I have one teaspoon of the garlic powder. A uh, fourth teaspoon of the pepper and I have one fourth teaspoon of the cayenne pepper here So again, we're gonna go ahead and mix in all the dry ingredients first All right, so we're gonna combine the flour and all the dry ingredients here. <clears throat> Give it a nice mix until everything is well combined. All right, so now we're ready for the next step. Prepare my sweet onions here to do the blooming onion here. First of all, we're gonna cut the top here and remove the outer layer of the onions. So peel this off. All right, so once we peel it, we're gonna cut our onions. Now make sure we're not gonna cut our end here. Now I am gonna trim it a little bit, so then it's still intact. So I just wanna get rid of the roots mainly. So just give it a little trim. All right, so the whole okay. thing is still intact here, you can see. And if you had purchased one of these Bloom and Onion device, obviously we have an issue. And the issue is that the onion is bigger than the device. So you might be able to find something that is bigger in this case, but particularly this brand, I think it's not real realistic. Most of the onions that you wanted to do is probably gonna be bigger than. All right, but I'm still gonna use this to help me guide through my cutting. All right, so what I wanted to do is basically when I cut, I wanna have my knife to hit 
these plastic so then I don't cut all the way through. So here we go, our first incision. So that's our first cut right in the middle. And I usually, I wanted to cut it right, you know, it's just like cutting a, a cake or a pie, right? So you just keep on dividing it up and that's usually the better technique here in this case. And I wanna hold my onions and every time I make the cut, I wanna make sure I'm gonna have hit the plastic here as well so then I don't cut all the way through. So I just cut quarters now. So I'm gonna go to do my eighth. Again, I wanna make sure I'm gonna hit the plastic. Let me do it one more time here. So now we have an eighth. All right, so I'm gonna continue to cut this. Now I'm gonna do one sixteenth. So this is one eighth. You wanna make any adjustment as well when you cut. So you wanna cut down. So then you're gonna hit the plastic here as well. So sometimes you gotta make fine adjustment here. All right, so now we're gonna make this cut right here. And I want it to align with the plastic right in half. Bring our knife down here all the way at the end. And then go ahead and finish on the other side. Okay. So I'm glad that I actually did purchase this even though it doesn't really fit into the device. But it's still gonna be useful to help me make my onions and cut this all the way through. Now, do you really need to buy one of these devices? I don't think so, because if you have one of those round circle uh, kick mold or cookie cutter that is round, you can actually just put the onion on top of it and that would be fine as well. All right, so I just wanna show you the 1 16th of my onions here. So this onion is cut into one over 16. So there's 16 individual petal. And this is gonna look really nice when we deep fry it. All right, so I'm just gonna carefully unfold the onions and you might, you know, some of the pieces might fall out and that is okay. Don't... Okay, all right, so what we wanted to do next here is to coat our onions with our seasoned flour here. Okay, it's just a little bit easier to put it in a little bowl here. All right, so I'm gonna remove my, uh, my onions here. And I'm just gonna transfer this over. Okay, I'm just gonna do half because this amount, you can actually do two of the blooming onions. And we're just gonna give it a little shake. the flour, I'm just gonna sprinkle some of them on here as well. And continue to give it a little shake. Essentially, we wanna dry this up completely with our flour here before we go into the wet batter here. All right, in the same time here, uh, if you have... All right, so once we flour our onion completely open up and dried up, we're gonna dip this into our wet batter. So we're gonna transfer it over. Essentially, we wanna make sure every petal will have the batter. All right, so I'm gonna flip this. Just gonna use my wooden spoon to help this batter this up here. All right, so this will get a little bit messy. It's easier to use my hand to kind of take this and open it up a little bit. Wow, the batter, I can smell the beard. It's Definitely, there's a reason why it's called a beer batter, right? All right, so this so, is where you wanna just carefully right. each petal get the batter here, okay? So you just have to open up some of those petals. I'm just gonna use my spoon to kind of spoon some of those batter into the division of those petal here. I right, definitely appreciate you know, when you go out and order this dish because it's actually, the process is, it does take some process and patience here 
to coat your onions. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a little squeeze here. All right, so we want, we preheated our deep fryer to 375 degrees. Now we wanna transfer the blooming onion into the basket that we're gonna deep fry in. All right, so we're gonna move it over here. Make sure we kind of open it up a little bit and we're gonna put it in the deep fryer. All right, so we also wanna have a timer here. Okay, we're gonna set our timer here to a minute and 30 seconds once we put it in. So I have it all ready. All right, so we're gonna lower this into our deep fryer. Hit the timer. We'd wanna do a minute and a half and then we're gonna flip it and do another minute and a half on the other side. All right, so a minute and a half. I'm gonna open this up and we wanna flip it to the other side. All right, just gonna use my spatula to help this to take out our blooming onion here. Okay, it's probably easier to do it this way. All right, put it back in for another minute and a half. All right, so we're gonna layer with paper towel here once we take it out, so then we're gonna drain the excessive oil. Okay, minute and a half is ready, let's take it out. Drain out these oil first here. I'm actually gonna flip it in here, so then all those oil can run down here. All right, transfer this over and there is our blooming onion. All right, so the final procedure after we kind of drain out the excessive oil here, we wanna decoy the center stem here. So we're gonna use this device to cut into it and that will get rid of the center stem that we, which is the root that we never cut in essential. All right, so we're gonna plate this and we're gonna transfer this whole thing to our plate. And with the sauce that we did earlier, I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Look how nice this is, it fit perfectly. Okay, right, so now we're ready for our taste test. Let's see how I did here. I'm gonna pull a piece out, ooh. Dip it in my dipping sauce. And let's see if this reminds me of the Outback Steakhouse, the broom and onion. I haven't had this for like a decade, over a decade. Mmm. Mm. Totally remind me of the broom and onion at Outback. My goodness. This it's so bad for you, but it's so good. <laughs> so, once in a decade, that's fine, I think. So, very crispy, and it's very fresh that it's out of your own kitchen. So, I'm glad I tried it. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the Outback Steakhouse Bloomin' Onions, and you can see how I created this at home. And if you wanted to try this out, so feel free to rewatch the video and follow through the steps and you are going to be just as successful as what I have here at home. Thanks for watching and if you have not yet subscribed to our food travel shopping channel, hit the subscribe button below and also give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button as well. So thanks for watching another great episode of Restaurant Remake. Stay tuned for the next video.